Alrighty, um, update. So I've pretty well got everything ready to go. It's all been painted and cleaned and serviced, overhauled, rebuilt, whatever. So pretty well everything's new. Um, so I've got it all ready to rock and roll. Uh, so I've got everything back. Boosters back. New master cylinder bag, everything, everything, everything back, and I've finished all the painting I was supposed to do. Um, yeah, so the underfloor, roll cage, tail shaft, all that. Um, tail shaft with a flat fan, flange set up on it. Um, so, yeah, so they're all good. Um, yeah, so everything's sitting here ready to go. Um, so it's just time now. So, yeah, anyway, so diff's back. So we did find a way to fix the diff issue. Um, so all we did, being the smart welder man he is, he came over to move that 90 degrees. But he goes, I don't want to do that. And he said, go and get the, the caliber mounts, the caliper mounts, the dust covers and all that. And uh, bugger me dead. He just goes, no. Re, all you do is re-drill them. Voila. Put two holes in them, and that's fixed it. So you move the dust covers 90 degrees. Well, dust covers, caliper mounts 90 degrees, and they fit perfectly. So the EF um, brakes fit onto an XE um, diff, which is, I guess that's why he's a smart man and I'm just here to do the labor so um, anyway so all the amounts are done so oh they're all covered at the moment but that that thing slides into there that's for the handbrake cable um, boy that's black you can't see very well um, anyway so there's the little swivel there's the swivel so that, that's all as per the EF um, setup on an XE M75 diff housing which is cool something different something unique so I get the really good handbrake set up, better brakes, much better handbrake overall, and I get the 277 diff ratio. Um, so you can see the flat fan flange set up from the EF. Um, so that's the much, much stronger setup. That's off that's a very common weak point. Trust me, I've broken them in the past on the other Falcon doing drag racing. So instead of just breaking things later as I put more power into this car in the future, um, we're just I'm just fixing it. So so we're gonna end up with 28 spline axles, which is there from the EF XR8. Um, and uh, yeah, so good 28 spline, 28 spline center on a 277. So that's a pretty cool combo, which is pretty well what the XE351s were anyway. But very hard diffs to find those ones. Can't find them. Of course, the limited slip, all that as well, of course. So, yeah, so that's looking good. Um, so I'm just doing other bits of painting as well. That's just the vacuum canister thing. So, yeah, I've done all the, done a bit more painting. I've done the battery tray, cleaned all that up, and the bonnet bits. So pretty well there, everything else is ready to go on. Um, I've got everything back. So that's all been fully rebuilt. Brand spanker master cylinder and all fully rebuilt so I've already shown you a lot of this other stuff so yeah so there's a new tile shaft all painted pretty so yeah anyway so oh well I've just been painting really I haven't done a lot because it just takes vast amounts of time to paint everything so I've done under there so that's all been painted that's all been cleaned up I've done the underbody spray on it a couple little bits to tidy up but that's because I had to take the holes um, so I'll just hand paint those, that's that's not a drama. So that's all looking good on both sides. So I've got the steering box all painted up too, so that's all been done and dusted. Um, so I did finish all the work on that as well, so that's all done. So that just needs to be painted now. That's all silky smooth now, that looks really good. Um, same for this side, done this side, but it's a dark side over here. Um, yeah, so I've completely finished in there. So that's awesome, done 100%. Um, so of course I haven't started body work yet. I'm just doing all the underneath stuff. So yeah, so that's where I'm at. So with the 
rear, I was just going to do the underbody spray, but funny thing. Ah, see that stuff there? That I thought that was actually rubber coat. Um, now, some of it is rubber coat, and some of it is actual tyre from the tyre flicking crap up underneath the arch. So... <laughs> Some is some and some is not. So I'm gonna have to get out a scrubber tomorrow. You can't see very much, but yeah, some of this is actually, most of this I think is actually um, muck. Um, I honestly thought it was rubber undercoat, but it's muck, I think. Um, so I'm just gonna get to town with a wire brush tomorrow and figure out what's what. But yeah, pretty funny. I thought I was just a quick little spray job, that one, but no, it's turned into a much, much bigger job. So you can sort of see. Yeah, I thought that was like rubber coat. Um, but it, I don't think it is. I think it's muck. So yeah, that's going to be a few hours work in there um, to clean all that up. But anyway, that's okay. That's, that's fine. That's what we do. Yeah, so other than that, um, it's looking good. Um, everything's on track. I'm, I'm a few days behind because I did hurt my knee um, and it seems to be much, much better now so I can at least sit down properly. Um, so that's where we're at. So tomorrow I'm just going to be scrubbing all that crap out um, and then do the underbody spray on there. I'm going to fix, finish underbody the rest of the car to make sure that's all nice and done and protected long term. Um, and then, holy crap. Then I go to town to put all the suspension together, put all the bushings, push all the bushings in and ball joints and yeah, uh, uh, and then fit it. So I reckon it's days of work, a few days work at least, and I've got to do a little bit more painting on that. So I'm talking probably at least three days just to do that and then to get the suspension in, probably potentially four, it depends how many long, how long my days end up being. So anyway, at least I'll get it back on its four wheels. Um, and of course I've got to run the, the new, the V8 um, power steering um, lines and fuel lines and all that. So they're all ready to go over there. They just need to be run and bolted in. So, okay. Anyway, it's hot as hell in here. I'm going to go, right? I'll chat to you later.